had answers, right? Like, oh, he's in a better place or, you know, God needed him on the other side. And I'm like, well, that doesn't help, right? <laughs> but, right. <laughs> like, it, 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 for anybody who, who hasn't lost a child, like, no, those are the things not to say to, to, to a grieving parent. Right. Um, but yeah, I, I wish somebody would have just said, hey, accept this, cry when you have to. Um, even if it's a messy cry, um, but don't sweep anything under the rug. Don't withhold how you're feeling. Talk to someone right away. I would, if, if I, if I would have had somebody that said, get into a grief counselor right away, that probably would have helped me out immensely. People are going to say some of the most off the cuff remarks and you're just like, like just simply forgive individuals because most people don't know what to say child loss is a an icky subject it, it's depressing it, it, it's a downer so um, you, you kind of have to build a thick skin um when, when you join the club and let those things roll off your back because people will say some of the shittiest things <laughs> <laughs> And and it, and it's it is again it's just because they're they're just as uncomfortable talking about it as you are. So, what does good support look like? And maybe start off with a couple things of what not good support looks like. What are some of those things that you're just like, please don't say that. Just give me a hug or a pat on the back instead. Yeah, I, I think I think good support would be for, for someone who knows somebody who's lost a child. I, I think just not saying anything at all like like you said giving them a hug or just being there to listen because that's all i think we want is somebody just to listen to us because there there, there is no way to fix it um you know you you can't bring our child back so simply just listen and then on the flip side the thing not to say would be like, like, I, like I said, all the pat answers of, oh, well, he's in a better place or, um, you know, God needed an angel or, you know, I, <laughs> those are things that just, uh, or, or, or someone who, who wants to try to fix it in the moment. And what does that listening look like, especially talking about being a dad? How, how can the men show up for other men? Um, I, I think, and I, I'm going to use the story of Mark and I building a um, turtle, a, a turtle out of sand on the beach. Like, like that's that's one way to just open the door, right? Like, oh, let's let's just kind of build this sand turtle and um, you know talk about what we like. And uh, as a man, it's 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 really hard to just be open about your feelings and your sensitivity but but you're also on the inside screaming for that like that that's what you want to do um so f for other men i i think it's just creating a an, an environment that that will allow you to sort of open that door and welcome another guy into that that space and whether it's over a beer or watching a baseball game you know whatever the case may be. I mean, it, or maybe like going to Broadway musicals. I don't know. Men just need, men, men need a friend too to talk to. We have feelings. We, we do cry. We, we are emotional creatures as well. And, um, and I, I think as a society, we're, 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 we're being better at allowing men to open up, um, but it's it's hard. It's hard. There's there's not not very many men's groups out there. <laughs> yeah, but just coming alongside each other and doing something, and then yeah. creating that bond as you're doing it. Yeah. Um, what's one thing that you would like to share with people that have not lost a child that you just wish they could hear and understand? Patience, like uh, just be patient. I guess um, um, with, with with someone who has. And and I say patience because uh, if if you get into a relationship with somebody who who has lost a child, uh, patience and understanding is huge. Um, because there, 
you're going to have those days where this person is, is going to be, you know, crying on the bathroom floor for no reason. Um, so I would say patience, whether it's, whether it's you're in a relationship with somebody or a family friend, uh, um, and then I, I, again, I wish people would just, just listen, right? Like just, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, don't try to offer me any sort of help because it doesn't matter. Um, I, I feel like, I feel like listening is a huge thing and, and patience. 